This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Website, online store, marketing tools, analytics, the go-to platform when you want to run your business or create a beautiful website like I am doing at the moment. So uh, more on this later, but for now, let's work. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. Welcome back to the mini uh, barbecue walk series. If you remember well, in the previous episode, we seasoned a walk Properly. Now in this episode, I want to build myself a nice little barbecue outdoor workstation if you want. And believe it or not, I'm not going to make something like completely over engineered. Deep inside, I want to be a simple person. Life just, you know, whatever. And believe it or not, this time I want to, I want to make something that is easy for you guys to replicate. Something that wouldn't just stay a YouTube video, that you guys could bring along in your garden. You see? I'm a good guy after all. Instead of starting from scratch, I want to start with a contraption that will help us speed up the process. So this is a chimney starter. It can double up as a walk station. In fact, I got the idea reading an article on SiriusEats.com by uh, Kenji Lopez. He basically places his chimney starter inside his barbecue and places the wok on top of it. Now I think this design is a good start, but there, there definitely are a few flaws with this. First of all, stir frying things is basically shaking things vigorously, so you've got high chances of just tipping the whole thing off. And there's another problem, which is managing the airflow. With this design at the moment, you have to lift the wok in order for the oxygen to be able to flow, and then you put it back and put it back up. It's just not practical, right? So I thought of a very simple design. Let me show you what I thought of. So basically it would go like this, like the chimney starter would be held in place by poles anchored in the ground or sealed into concrete and then on top of it you would have a, like a walk ring that would sit maybe an inch above the very top and that would allow for great airflow. Air would come from underneath, would go through the chimney and then it would prevent the fire from dying because of the air intake here and here and, and there as well. Uh, and that is basically my plan to turn a, a chimney starter into a walk station. So I'm gonna go online, buy a few things like the chimney starter, a walk ring, brackets and nuts and bolts and whatnot. We catch up just afterwards. I finally got everything I ordered in the mail today. So I've got my uh, barbecue chimney with me. Walk ring that I wanted. I'm thinking about mounting it maybe upside down instead of downside up. I am now heading to my uh, parents' house because basically they have a lovely little garden. And now the whole setup is pretty clear in my mind the way I should mount the chimney and the walk ring on top. It's pretty clear. The only thing that is not define yet is how to mount this somewhere like poles or stuck in between bricks and also that it doesn't move around when I stir fry because basically I'm not worried about safety that much I'm mostly worried about my moves not being perfect not even joking so I guess with that in mind I'm gonna make a quick pit stop at, uh, at a local hardware store just to see if I can come up with any solution for that before I reach my, my parents' house. So let's just do this. Here we are, let's make this. Usually my projects in real life are quite far away from my, 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 my designs on paper, but this time I would say that it's pretty honest. 
so basically at the moment I'm trying to see which height would feel the most comfortable. Like this feels quite natural. Well, as much as I enjoy this design, it looks like a rocket. It deserves to be light up properly. So the forge has been lit up, I repeat. The forge has been lit up don't have all the ingredients, I need to make a proper stir fry but at least I can try to toss a few things I can't wait to start <laughs> right. So basically a, a, a proper workstation should sear things very quickly 50 seconds, 60 seconds, maybe max that it should uh, make the droplets of oil catch on fire that is slightly burnt, slightly toasted, almost caramelized and charred aromas so specific to a uh, wok cooking. In fact, it's called wok he, wok he, wok he. In China, it's the breath of the wok. I made a mini series about this in the past. I'll post a link, but in the meantime, honestly, I can't wait to start and, and just stir fry these carrots. As boring as they might look, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Now, before we actually start cooking the stir fry, I need to mention something. Obviously, I'm taking full responsibility for my own person. And I think basically at home, you should always do the same. Only do stuff if you think they are safe enough, okay? That being said, let's stir fry like a, like, like a lunatic. Very nice. Crunchy, colorful, um, charred, yes, but I don't get the burnt aroma that I was looking for. The whole idea works for sure. Conveniency, well, it's, it's okay, but the, the, the fact that you have to bolt it down to be set and unset afterwards. But if you guys have in mind something that could be both stable and convenient, please let me know in the comments down below. Next. The heat is good, but we are lacking a flame, and that's a problem that I need to wrap my head around. So in the end, this is what I suggest. Next time, I'm gonna come up with a solution that is bolder, okay? And I'm gonna make a real proper stir fry with noodle or rice and plenty different vegetables on a hopefully more powerful workstation. That's a bold promise, but I wanna make it bold. Mm. Well, I, I think that's it for this episode. I will definitely catch up with you in the next one. Uh, if you enjoyed this journey, if you enjoyed the build, the project and the mini walk barbecue series, then please give this video a big thumbs up, like it and spread that everywhere. You know how it works? Spread this like butter on, on, on a non-stick walk, at least for this series only. So until then, bye bye, salut. And now a quick word about our sponsor for this video, Squarespace. So in my opinion, coding a website from scratch these days that doesn't make any more sense. Like with Squarespace, I'm able to create an online store for my own personal website in a matter of minutes. Like I'm still working on it at the moment, but, but that's a cool project of mine where I will be able to gather all the merch in one place. And with Squarespace, not only is that easy and straightforward, but it's also customizable. Like there are plenty uh, different templates on Squarespace, you know, classic, modern, contemporary. Uh, and the beauty of all these is that they are compliant either with the laptop or with the mobile. It just looks great every time. Now another feature that I found to be really cool on squarespace.com is that you can also buy a domain on top of creating your own website which makes the whole process just less painful and more 
natural. So guys, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your own personal website, when you're ready to take the leap of faith, just go to squarespace.com slash a French guy and get 10% off your first purchase. Will it be a website or a domain? Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Oh.